Good morning everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lena and I make college and book related content here on YouTube. And today I will be bringing you along with me in a day in my life. Today is July 5th. It is the beginning of finals week. However, because I'm in a summer condensed semester, it's simultaneously the last week of classes and finals week all at the same time, so it's kind of a lot. So that being said, I have four finals this week. I have one that opens up today and is actually due tomorrow. We have 24 hours to complete it. Then I have two presentations and a paper due on Thursday at various points throughout the day. And then I have two more papers due on Friday. So even though I only have four finals, it seems like I have a million of finals to do, but some of them are connected to each other. This morning I got up, had a shower, and then started working on some of my, um, es on one of my essays for the end of this week. That essay is also tied to one of the presentations I'm giving on Thursday, so I'm working on both of those kind of at the same time. It's now 9.25 and I have a class that I have to leave for in about 15 minutes or so. Um, and so that is my Paris on film class. It is a lovely day today, so hopefully I'll have some time to go outside, but I also have a couple meetings to go to this afternoon, so we'll just see what happens. Since filming my room tour, my room has fallen even more apart. Um, my corkboard fell down because of the humidity last week. So I actually saw it as it began to fall and I was able to catch it in time. So that has been officially taken down and I just didn't see a point in wasting command strips and putting it back up. And then also my L, fell down as well so it's just the humidity is not being nice to things that go on the wall but room tour is done so we don't have to worry about that anymore this is my outfit for today it's just this like t minty teal kind of um v-neck shirt with um a cactus on it and then some shorts these socks will come off i think i'm gonna wear birkenstocks today it's just a little chilly in my room and i'm trying to wear my hair down today we'll see how that goes it's going to get up to 80 but we'll see how that goes before i get going i'm going to do some quick planning for the rest of my day and then i'll be able to head out to class and this day will officially begin for me so my planner actually ran out on july 4th so now i'm in like the notes blank section and i've just basically made a makeshift schedule um as well as my to-do list I'm not just i'm just hiding some things because there's like personal names on here but i basically have a britlet final to do i have some reading for women's health and then i have a peer review meeting and then i have laurentian magazine mailing to do and then i also have homework poet profile work the whole lot it's a lot to do today but i am excited to get this day started especially because it's sunny outside and this might be our only sunny day this week so i'm looking forward to that I'm not looking forward to the dirty windows though that's kind of gross So I am now back from lunch and it is a little after 12 and our final for BritLit was just sent to us. So I just copied and pasted it into a Word doc for myself. It is an open note final exam and we have 24 hours to complete it on our own time. And it is about the Victorian era and the modernist era for writing in Brit. Lit. We can use um, our Norton anthologies, so I have them over here. I have our Victorian one and uh, the 20th and 21st century, which contains the modernist, obviously. And then I also made myself a cup of tea to prep, and I'm just gonna go through, take some notes, do all of that. We aren't allowed to use online resources, but we can use also notes from class. And I honestly don't know how long this is gonna take me. It's very similar to the midterm, but I did not pay attention to how long it took me to do the midterm. I do know it took me quite a while, but 
I am ready to get started. And then at two o'clock, I have a peer review session with one of my peers from my woman's health class. So I'm going to head over to the student center to do that. But for now, I will get to work. So it is now a little bit after 1.30 and my partner just texted me that she was actually ready for our meeting now. So I'm going to pack up my bag, get all that stuff ready. We'll go do peer review, see where we're gonna go from there. Um, yeah, so much work to do. This week is looking so, so hectic, but I am looking forward to the semester being over. I just got back from my meeting. It is 2.15. My Laurentian Magazine meeting got moved from 4 o'clock to 2.45, so I have 30 minutes before that. It's not actually a meeting. We're going to be mailing out all of the magazines. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to edit the paper that we just discussed in my peer review. I can show you a little bit about that. That's my final paper for women's health and aging. And then with that paper, I also have to give a presentation on it. So that's one of my presentations and one of my papers that's due this week. So this is basically the paper that I wrote about, way to write about women's health issue that was not discussed in class. So I decided to write about vaginal hygiene products. We had to write a white paper arguing a stance for um, a woman's health issue. And I decided to argue that vaginal hygiene products are hugely problematic. I wrote about um, what we need to do in order to change the number of women who continue to use these products and the obvious thing seems to get the FDA to like not let them be sold or at least to regulate them better or get these pharmaceutical and ma manufacturer companies in trouble but decided not to do that decided to go the route of comprehensive sex education and learning what a healthy and normal and basically what a vagina is like so these girls and young women are not taught that a vagina is dirty and disgusting and gross and want to use these products to begin with so it's kind of what we went for you had to address a specific audience and so I decided to be very specific and choose my two local representatives in my state house and yeah so that's what I've written about it is basically done so I'm just gonna sit here and um, read through the peer review form again, make some appropriate edits, and then it will be time to head off to Laurentian Magazine. Text canceling or Laurentian Mag mailing because of certain circumstances, but in the 30 minutes I did have, um, I had time to read through my entire paper, make some edits. The highlighted things just mean I don't like the transitions, so I'm gonna have to go back to those later. But I was able to read the whole paper and make all those edits, and so I'm really happy with that. So I think I'm gonna show you the magazine anyway, just to give you a chance to see what our literary magazine looks like here on campus. It is a student-run magazine, and it's full of student works. And we typically release two editions each year, but we only did one because of COVID, obviously. And every semester, we basically have people do submissions and then the editorial board which I was a part of in the fall and now I am the managing editor this summer um, we go through and pick which submissions we want in four different categories fiction nonfiction art and photography and poetry and then we put together the whole magazine the magazine is really beautiful this year it's stunning um, and so I'll just let you all see a little sneak peek of that so this is the magazine, we're just on top of my bed right now, but it is really beautiful. This is cover art by a student, and then the inside cover is a photograph by a student. Um, and this is our first year of doing color on the inside, and I think it turned out really, really, really well. Um, and so I just think it's really beautiful. <laughs> um, and I like just the whole aesthetic that's going on, and um, the pieces that were selected, the themes, the content, it's really, really cool. And I'm really glad that we got to share this all. 
But unfortunately, it appears we won't be able to mail it today. So that's that. Um, I'm going to move on from that, give up on those dreams for today. I think right now I'm going to take 30 minute break. It's almost three o'clock. It's that time of the day when I like to take a little break from my schoolwork. So I think I'm going to read a bit and maybe just relax, chill. I am so tired. I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning. Love that for me and could not fall asleep until 4.30. Also love that for me and then got up at six. So I'm exhausted right now, but I'm not gonna take a nap because I do not wanna mess up my sleep schedule. So I'm going to do that. Um, I might actually go outside and read just cause it's so beautiful. Um, I might also get a sunburn if I do that, but I will let you know. The two books that I am currently reading are Fathers and Sons by Ivan Turgenev. This is a Russian literature book and it is quite old and beat up. Um, I am really enjoying that. I'm not very far, I'm like page 50 or so. Um, and then I'm still reading Indiana, which I am very far along in. Um, I think I have about 100 pages left and I'm enjoying that quite a bit. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna read. Um, and I'll just have to decide that and I think I might take an adventure outside because it's so beautiful. So we shall see. When I was walking outside, I decided spur of the moment to film a little mini campus tour for you all. So this is between Rebert and Whitman, which are two freshman residence halls. There are volleyball nets. And then as we continue along, you can see Dean up on the hill across from Whitman, which is another residence hall. I lived in what in my freshman year so I have fond memories and I lived up there in center which you can see right here in that middle part and then up ahead in that stone building you can see Kirk Douglas Hall which is a highly coveted upperclassmen dorm and then you can see Noble Center which is to the right of Kirk and then back there are the suites um, where other people can live and now I'm going to continue up this little incline. And so to the left is Dean, another section of it, very interesting architecture. And then to the right is Kirk Douglas and the quad. So people love to lay out here in the sun. There's lots of fun activities that happen on the quad. And it's just a great meeting place on a campus. At the top of the incline, you can see Carnegie Hall where I have most of my classes. There's a sculpture that looks like a broken egg. And then taking a right, you can see the Chapel and Richardson Hall. So there's Kirk Douglas again. And then the building across the street is Vilas Hall where the president's office is and other important registrar and other offices like that. And then Richardson is actually the original university's building. All of the classes and residence halls used to be in there. And that's where my English classes are there. So I'm there all the time and I love it. I think it's a beautiful building and the classrooms are very enjoyable. So coming around here, we're walking between Richardson and the chapel and straight ahead of us is a portion of our library on campus. I just climbed up the little steps that you could see earlier and there's the chapel and there's the library hiding behind those trees as well as the reading room. I decided I wanted to sit under a bench in the shade because even though I put on sunscreen I was not about to get a sunburn. So I just chose this random little bench in the middle of the enchanted forest. That's what it's called here. It's me doing work. Lots of fun. Another view of Richardson and the chapel. And then back there, you can see Hepburn Hall, barely. I zoom in on it. Um, we'll walk by there later. You can look at it then. And then there's the library still hiding behind the trees. And the reading room is obviously has not moved. And I love the reading room. It's absolutely beautiful. This is me doing some actual reading, fathers and sons, and absolutely loving it. And then this is me getting ready to leave. That is at Wood Hall. There's education and religion classes there as well as a couple other courses. And then I'm getting up, walking past the library so you can see a better view of it. Not gonna lie, our library is really ugly, just is. And there's the chapel again, and there's the back of Carnegie. And yeah, here's Hepburn up close. It's 
pretty beautiful building. There's government classes in there. There's lecture hall in there for like bio 101. And I'm just walking towards the mill wheels in the middle of that circle. Everyone just cuts through the middle of the circle. I go around, but you can see the path that has destroyed the grass. And there's Dean Hall right back there. Here is Dana Dining Hall as, long, as well as the student center. So this is definitely a central part of campus where people gather. And as we continue on, here's Peace Corps Hall, which is right next to the bookstore. This is where a lot of professors' offices are. There's history, philosophy, other different classes like that. And then there's the um, admissions building. Here is Java Quad, another quad that we have here on campus. And then across the street is where the athletic facilities are for anyone who's interested in that. And here is the Johnson Hall of Science. It is LEED certified, so you'll have all of your labs in here as well as peer pods and other things like that. And it is a truly stunning building. And then here is what used to be called Medill Hall, but it is now Fox Hall named after our former president. And that's where academic advising is and where you can choose your major and declare it. And so that is really helpful. And also student accessibility services, lots of fun things in there. Um, and yeah, and then coming into this little complex, there's a group of buildings, Valentine, Flint, Bucus, maybe more. This is like geology, economics, statistics, calculus, other chemistry classes, physics, like you name it, it's in here. And then coming back around, here's another view of the student center. And then we are headed back to the dorm complex that I was started at. I am back in my room now. It is, I don't know, a little bit after four o'clock now. I was outside for about an hour. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little impromptu mini campus tour. I figured I would do it now because it's sunny. It's supposed to rain the rest of the week. I can't go super in depth because there's a reason why the campus tours last an hour, but hopefully you saw enough of the buildings and got an idea of the layout of the campus. If you have any questions about specific buildings, just let me know down in the comments below. Um, while I was outside, I read 30 pages of Fathers and Sons, and I wasn't really liking the book in the beginning, but Turgenev has me sold now. I am slowly becoming obsessed with this book. And in other... what else did I do? Oh, and then I decided to stay outside and do my woman's health reading for class tomorrow. It was all about breast cancer and kind of the industry and branding that it has become and how it's not so much about the cancer part and it's more about making money and profiting off of people who get breast cancer. But now that my break slash homework slash chilling outside time is over, um, I'm going to reassess what I need to get done and then I will let you know where I am at. That was the other thing I was going to say. Yesterday I actually saw someone on campus who said that they watched my videos. It was our 4th of July barbecue and they said that they watched my videos basically. Obviously I love it when any of you come up and say that you watch my videos. It makes me so happy, it makes my day. I mean I get weird looks from other people who don't watch my videos or are confused what you're talking about. But I do love it so much. It just takes me a little while to catch up to it because I'm still not used to people saying that. But yeah, thank you so much for coming up to me yesterday. Um, and I need to get back to work now. Enough time of procrastinating. I also need to get another headband. So I just got off the phone with my family. I was on the phone with them for over an hour and it is now 5.45. Before that, I did some planning about what I need to do for today and tomorrow just to give me priorities for tonight. So I decided that I have to finish my Brit Lit final to the best of my ability. I'll probably reread it again tomorrow morning and then submit it, but get most of it done tonight. And then do some poet profile work, my favorite. Um, my goal for that is to just get some writing down. I think either I'll focus on the analysis of the poetry or I will work on like the historical and biographical work. But for right now, it is 5.50, so I'm probably gonna order supper in about half an hour or so. So I'm going to read Indiana um, and get some of that reading done so I can finish it by the end of this week. Uh, so I'll do that and then I will check in with you all later. 
So this is me just checking in the next day because I realized that I never actually closed off yesterday's vlog. Today I got to submit my Brit Lit final, which felt so good that class is officially done. Um, now I just have to do my other work for finals, but I'm feeling pretty good about this week. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions, video recommendations, book recommendations, please leave them down in the comments below, and I will see you all next week.